uh, yeah, I mean, it was just a, a good swim. It was, I was just excited and wanted to kind of get the team fired up, so hopefully I did that. <laughs> You mentioned getting the team fired up, you know, it was probably a tough pill to swallow after that 200 freestyle relay, but you guys have a pretty significant lead and it looks like you rallied behind one another. So what is the, the atmosphere like on deck with you all? Yeah, you know, the 200 free relay, I don't think it was a tough pill to swallow at all. Uh, you know, Cal had to be really good to beat us um, and they still, we still went uh, our American record. So um, they swam lights out and uh, we felt still really good going into all of our individual events. And I think that showed with how, how we all did, top to bottom, B final, A final, just always always getting out there and racing, and um, I'm excited to watch the last relay again tonight. Um, let's go back to that race a little bit, because you know you, you, you went for it. Is, is there a, a certain yeah. time when you will hold back a little more versus I should have. <laughs> that was the plan going okay. in. <laughs> um, hold back? Well, I mean, this morning I really set my stroke up and kind of planned it so that you know, I was just kind of swimming with like my first hundred feel, um, and I felt really good about that going in. Just like holding that 14 stroke count, um, kind of crept up to 15 strokes like by the second 25, I think tonight. <laughs> um, so I kind of, it was kind of hard to get back down, and um, it's kind of been something I've been working on, just trying to keep that, keep that rhythm. So kind of got away from that a little bit. I think Greg said I was 143.9 at the 200, and. Um, you know, not to be nitpicky or anything, I'm still really happy with this one, but I think if I was like half a second smoother or just, uh, you know, just a little easier going out at first 200, it probably would have been maybe another second, I don't know. Um, but I, I'm, I'm still really happy with it and um, it's just it just shows the excitement of the meet, um, just kind of got me going, seeing uh, Megan and Leah have really good swims in the heat before me and um, just knowing I could get out there and race, I uh, just wanted to leave it all in there. How much do you think that was getting kind of lost in the emotion of the meet? Did that did that affect your kind of tempo getting up there a little too much? Not really, and I mean, I, I'm, uh, I think, um, you know, I, I, I never felt like I died in that race. It wasn't like, it wasn't like that at all. So it was, um, it was just kind of getting that rhythm. I'm, I'm just really happy with how both this morning and, and tonight went, and I'm um, looking forward to my yeah. remaining events. <laughs> Did you have a goal time in that? Um, yeah, I, I'm not gonna share it, but um, <laughs> I'm I'm happy with that. Uh, and how's it feel to have your first NCAA individual title? Yeah, it feels good. Um, you know, it's it's great to be here. It's great to be with my team. Um, I love being a part of this team. Um, just been having so much fun this whole year, and to just kind of see all the hard work pay off for everyone um, is is a great feeling. And um, it's fun, fun to be a part of this this team. To to see Leah there, obviously had a great swim. Go, goes yeah. under four thirty for the first time, knowing that no one else had been under four thirty before yeah. that. Yeah. Um, what kind of perspective does that give you on you know kind of what you've done in that event over the past few years, and then obviously you know that that's when she had tonight. Yeah, I said I said to her at the end, "Welcome to the club. Um, <laughs> it's one of the most exclusive clubs in yeah. in short course swimming." So uh, I was really happy for her. I knew, you know, I've watched. And still is probably the last four or five years online and have seen her go 430 you know every year and just you know kind of hurting for her knowing that she has that that swim in her to go under and um, I know she was thrilled with her swim and uh, busted through 430 so I was really happy for her. How about for you being so far ahead of everyone else does that kind of mean anything and, and, and did you just where you've taken that event I guess I suppose from where it was when you started? Um, I mean I guess I haven't really thought about it um, I mean I remember when my goal was to break 4:30, mm -hmm. and um, I think I went 4:28, and then the next year, high school swimming went 4:26. So, um, kind of just taking it step by step and finding new ways to swim it, um, just kind of experimenting, and um, have kind of kind of found found how to swim it and kind of stuck with it, and um, just again happy with how tonight went. And looking, looking to tomorrow, you're, so you're 143.4 at the 200, I believe. Oh, looking to, to 439. I think you're 133.49, I believe, and then 210 flat at the 250. So you're right on pace there for, you know, 422 high, 423 low. But, um, you know, now that this race is behind you, looking to tomorrow, you've shown that kind of front end speed. Um, what kind of confidence does that give you going into the 200 individual? Yeah, it gets me excited for the 200. Um, I don't know if it gets me any more excited. I was already pretty excited for the 200, um, just with how, how great of a race it's going to be. And um, just got to rest up tonight and 
bring it tomorrow morning. Uh, that's the thing about this meet. Um, everybody brings it in prelims, and you have to be have to be on at all times. So um, it's kind of unlike any other meet that way, I would say. Before leaving Rio, you kind of talked about how excited and nervous you were to go into Stanford and moving into the dorms and all of that. So how has college like treated you? How does, what has that transition been like? It's been great. Uh, I think it's exceeded all my expectations. Just how welcoming everybody was at Stanford and then just, just meeting so many different people that have so many different interests. And um, I'm still figuring out what I want to major in and um, just seeing the different passions that people have for different things, both academically, athletically, extracurricularly, uh, just people doing some amazing things and that's kind of the environment at Stanford and um, that's the environment on the pool deck every day too. So I think everybody uh, at Stanford likes to excel in whatever they do and um, it's just a really great environment. Uh, I, I, you know, just can't speak more highly about the girls on the team, coaches, um, my professors, my classmates. Uh, I've just formed some really great relationships already and um, I'm really happy with how this first year has gone.